there you got me. Lucy, would you like to say a word about yourself? Yeah, hello everyone. So I'm here from Playa Resorts. Um, today we'll be talking about Jamaica, which is one of our hotels in my beautiful background here, which is Jewel Grand. So we'll go into a bit more information on that later, but thank you all for joining. Okay, so thank you everyone. So I'm gonna uh, hand over now to Victoria, who's going to do her presentation. Um, Thank you. Victoria, you've already introduced yourself, so please do start. Yeah, okay. Hi, everybody. Lovely to be here. This is my second time this week, so uh, and I'm keeping on a similar vein as I was on Tuesday. So I am going to go back to um, Turks and Caicos today, but I am going to showcase three different hotels that I didn't showcase when I was here on Tuesday. So hopefully this is something new for you, and if you have seen it already, then this is going to be something that is going to be in a little bit more detail. So uh, because I've got the whole 15 minutes to talk about the Heartland Group. So welcome to Paradise. Welcome to the Turks and Caicos. Um, this is a beautiful image that my colleague took actually as she was coming in. So Turks and Caicos is an archipelago of 40 different islands and keys. But today we're going to focus on Provincialis, which is where our three hotels are. Provincialis is where the direct flights come into. So I just wanted to take a moment to tell you about the airlift as well. So just to remind you, and here we are, we are landing now on our journey into um, to Provo. So this is a, a video that I took um, when I last went out. And just to let you know, we have two nonstop flights on Virgin Atlantic each week from Heathrow. And we also have two flights per week from British Airways from Gatwick, which go um, touchdown in Nassau, but then you just go straight on to um, Provincialis in Turks and Caicos. So you don't need to get off the plane. So four amazing flights into the island of Provo or Provincialis every week from the UK. So it's now really, really easy to get your clients from the UK into the island of Turks and Caicos. If you're on the call from the US or Canada, then you know you have got so many fabulous routes um, into Provo. And also if you wanted to do a twin center from the UK, you could go via America. It's only an hour and 20 minutes from New York. So um, it's a great twin center. So we're gonna focus today on the Shore Club, the Sands and the Palms, which are all part of the Heartland Group. It's a local group. Um, the Sands is up first. So this is a beautiful property. It's a four star, but really, really great standard. It's been a hotel for 25 years and it's the first hotel in our group. So this is the lobby area. So this is as you enter the hotel, this is how you are greeted with this sensational lobby. Now we have 114 residences on property. We have junior suites, which all feature mini fridge, microwave, toaster, coffee maker and cutlery. But the majority of the rooms here are either one, two or three bedroom residences and they have full kitchen. So there's just some photos so you can see the standard of the accommodation here. And I would say in Provo, you've got two fabulous supermarkets right in the Grace Bay area, affiliated to Waitrose. So it's very easy to go out and do shopping if you want to. Um, and then you can do a self catering option. All of the rates here are room only, but we do have a fabulous restaurant on property called Hemingways. So you can't do a bed and breakfast package, but your clients can, can come to Hemingways for breakfast, lunch or dinner. And it's quite a renowned restaurant on the island as well. So we have a lot of people that come in from outside and the sunsets here, as you can see in this image, are just incredible. And this is our fabulous beach. So both the sands and the palms, which I'm gonna talk about next, are located on Grace Bay Beach. And Grace Bay Beach has been voted the best beach in the world, eight years running by TripAdvisor. So it's an absolutely stunning beach, fabulous water, very warm, um, beautiful crystal clear seas, really calm, and the sand is so, so white. Um, and then we have this lovely pool area as well. So this resort really is a fabulous resort if you've got groups of friends, multi-generational families, couples, or even single people that would like to come out and just have some downtime and relax in that Grace Bay area where they can easily get out to a lot of the bars, the restaurants, the cafes, the shops. So it's a really great location. And the other thing we do offer from all of the resorts are complimentary bicycles. So you can use the bicycles, both adults and children, and you can cycle around the local area and the local beaches. So now we're going to go to the Palms. So the Palms is our five star property. Um, it's just up from the sands. It's also located on the beautiful Grace Bay Beach. Uh, the Palms is a 72 resort, um, all suite resort. So we have ocean view res um, 
residences and we also have um, garden view residences. When they initially designed this hotel, they took the architect over to Barbados and they showed him the Sandy Lane and said, this is what we would like, something like this, but in um, the island of Turks and Caicos. So it does have that kind of Sandy Lane-esque vibe to it. So more traditional in its style. These are some of the rooms. So this would be our two bedroom oceanfront suite. And this is 2000 square foot of living space. So really lovely spacious rooms and suites. Great again, if you've got multi-generational families or even just people who want to have space to relax when they come on holiday. Um, this would be a one bedroom oceanfront suite. So this would be 1500 square foot. So still a huge amount of space, incredible views with these beautiful big picture windows lovely outside terraces as well. So if you just wanted to sit on your terrace and relax, enjoy the sun and watch the world go by, you can. And you can just see out on this image, if you look just about here, this is where it breaks. And there's a fabulous reef here as well. So it's fabulous for snorkeling. Also a lovely area for diving. And then we have our penthouses as well. So this would be the ocean view from the penthouse master suite. And then the penthouses also have, of course, the kitchen area. And you could have a chef come in and cook for you if you wanted to. You don't have to, just because you have a kitchen, you don't have to be doing self-catering. Um, but if you wanted to on this property, we do have um, meal plans. So the rates for this property are on bed and breakfast. And then we do have these fabulous restaurants. So this is Parallel 23. This is our fine dining restaurant. You can sit indoors or outdoors, but outdoors you have these amazing views of the gardens. And then we have um, the breakfast garden restaurant, which is where you go for breakfast, which is a really lovely space in the garden. And these trees are absolutely stunning. So this is a really lovely place to come and have breakfast. For a little bit of a vibe, we have Latitude, which is our bar, which is connected to the fine dining restaurant, which is a really lovely vibe in here. And then we also have another restaurant, which is 72 West. So this restaurant is outside, down by the pool, in between the pool and the beach area. So there are lots of places if you want to eat on property, but I do recommend you go out and about and eat in the Grace Bay area. There are lots of lovely independent restaurants and also some of the other hotels that you're really close to. They have fabulous restaurants as well and people do go to all the different hotel restaurants in Provo. If you've got clients that love a spa, then we have got an award-winning spa, 25,000 square foot of space. I think it has 17 treatment rooms. If you've been to Barbados and seen the, the spa at Coral Reef, it does have that vibe to it. It's an absolutely beautiful spa, one of the renowned spas on the destination of Turks and Caicos. And then again, Grace Bay. I mean, you can see the beach here is absolutely stunning. We have waiter service on the beach. We have non-motorized water sports. Um, you can see the pool here in this image, but I did put an extra shot in just of the, the beach because it's just so beautiful and I wanted you to see. I mean, it really, really does look like this. So it's absolutely gorgeous. So, those properties are both on the Grace Bay Beach in the Grace Bay area. Now, if we go around the corner a little bit, it's about a 15, 20 minute drive. We're going to go to an area called Long Bay. So Long Bay is a beautiful stretch of beach as well. And this is where the Shore Club is located. So this property is absolutely stunning. It's probably more than, than a five star product. It's been designed beautifully. It was actually voted in 2022 the most Instagrammable hotel in the world. This is the entrance area as you would come in through the lobby. And then these are, this would be your lead in bedroom. So this would be um, a junior suite and you can have the bathroom kind of open plan within the bedroom area, or you can actually pull these doors closed and you can have it more as a, bath, a separate bathroom. Um, then we have ocean front suite. So this would be a master bedroom in an ocean front suite. So lots of space, more kind of, um, European in its style, so very modern, uh, fully equipped gourmet kitchens in these suites as well. And then you have a one bedroom deluxe oceanfront suite. So this is kind of 17,000 or 1700 square foot of living space. So really lovely and spacious, beautiful big windows overlooking those gorgeous views, luxurious bathrooms. And I don't know if you can see the floor of the bathroom and this runs throughout the whole property. These are hand painted tiles that come from Italy. Um, we have a three bedroom ocean front suite as well, which has a separate study area. So if you did have to do some work from home, then that's achievable as well. And then we have penthouses. So this is our three bedroom penthouse. This is the executive penthouse. This is absolutely stunning. 6,239 square foot. It has a terrace on either side. One side, it has just incredible views of the sea. And the other side, you have your own private um, hot tub. 
The master bathroom has a sauna in it and you can actually come walk out of the bathroom. You've got an outdoor shower and then entrance into another sauna. Um, we have a two bedroom penthouse, which is on the same floor as the three bedroom penthouse. So if you needed more space, we can actually program the lift and we can do this at the palms as well so that you can have the entire floor. So you could have a five bedroom space here. Now, again, the rates for the Shore Club are bed and breakfast, but we do have more um, restaurants here as well. So Surin is our fine dining restaurant. This is a Japanese Peruvian blended restaurant. It's absolutely gorgeous, amazing sushi. And then the almond tree. So this is in the evening at the almond tree where they have the fairy lights on the trees, which make it look absolutely stunning. But you would come here for breakfast as well. And these trees have grown up and created such a gorgeous canopy. And this is real kind of homely food with a, with a Peruvian twist. So, and we also have live music here twice a week. And then we have the rope bar. So the rope bar is next to the main family pool. So during the day you can get sushi, you can get um, you can get burgers, that kind of food. And in the evening, it's a really lovely place to come for a drink. So the pool is open 24 hours and you can see in the middle of the pool, we actually have an island which has a fire pit on it. So in Turks and Caicos, in the evenings in their winter, which would kind of be um, around, uh, well, it starts to get a bit cooler around November, December. Um, it's lovely and hot during the day, but in the evening, you might sometimes feel that you want a cardigan or you could just come and sit around a fire pit and keep warm in the evening that way. So this pool, as I mentioned, is our family pool. So if you booked one of the villas, which I'm going to come on to shortly, or one of the penthouses, which I showed you, you actually would get um, complimentary use of the cabana. And if you if you weren't booked into those rooms, but you'd like to use it, then you can just pay. I think it's 250 US dollars is a minimum spend. And as long as one is available, then it's yours. We have four swimming pools on this property. So as well as the family pool, we have adults only pools as well. We have a lap pool, a gym, an amazing spa. I'm running out of time. So I'm going a little bit quicker through this now. We have a fabulous kids club as well. And this is a great picture just for you to get an idea of the bearing and the layout. So you can see the properties that I've gone through are in these two blocks here. You've got the four swimming pools, the lobby area and the restaurants are all in this area here. And these are our six, six bedroom villas. So all beachfront villas, so this is the entrance to the villa. You come in and you've got your own private pool area and you come in, you've got this beautiful downstairs area here. There's actually a lift in these villas as well. So you can use the lift. You can come in from an underground car park, park your vehicle and then come up in the lift. You have your own media room, a fabulous open plan living kitchen dining room. There are six bedrooms and sleep up to 14 guests, but you can sell them as a four or a five bed as well. And from the back of your villa, you have your own private access way down to the beach where you have your own beach butler who will look after you. You've got your own non-motorized water sports pod here as well. So it's, and it's absolutely stunning. And this water is crystal clear and shallow for such a long time. It's perfect for families with small children. So I'm just going to finish with a very short video. Um, and if then if you've got any questions, we can ask them at the end. Hey!
that's um, that's everything from me because I know that we're running short of time now as well. But I will share with you um, all the um, images and videos in the follow up as well. And if you've got any other questions, then please don't hesitate to reach out to me. So I'm going to stop sharing and hand you back to Ian now. Hi. So thank you, Victoria. That was absolutely amazing. I particularly like the idea of working from home. And um, that was really marvellous. I think I know we're going for that. So thank you from Victoria, the Harting Group. There is actually a quick question, which you do have time to answer. There's one in the q and A. I'll just give it to you, then we've got it done. How safe is the T and C in terms of walking out resorts? That's um, well, I've, oh, I'll put it in the, shall I put it in the Q&A? So that, if you um, could. Yeah, people can go on. Yeah, then. no, that's fine. Yeah, if that would be good, thank you. So I'm gonna hand over now to Peter in Barbados. Uh, Peter, would you like to start? Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Peter from Bespoke Mark Travel and Marketing, and we handle the sales and marketing for um, Wyndham Grand Barbados, um, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. So um, this is a brand new property. It only opened in Oct October last year, uh, October 2023. So it's a brand new luxury five-star all-inclusive property. Um, in Barbados, and it's actually owned by the government, government of Barbados. So it's part of a new strategy for the island to offer a different type of accommodation. So we're pretty confident that you won't find another type of hotel like this on the island of Barbados. So it's a bit of a game changer for the island of Barbados. You can see it there. Um, it's 422 rooms, five star, all inclusive, located on a bluff overlooking its own private sandy beach. So exactly where is it? So it's here on the southeast coastline of Barbados. So it's a short 15 minute transfer from the airport, airport code BGI, Bridgetown Grantley Adams International Airport. It's easy to get around the island of Barbados. It's a safe island, easy to drive around. Um, the lovely west coast is probably the most famous with its platinum coastline with whole town and sandy lane and other resorts on that coastline then you've got the south coast uh, from st lawrence gap oystins um, and then Wyndham grand barbados is, is on the sort of southeast coastline facing the atlantic ocean um lots to see and do in barbados and on the east coast you've got some wonderful surfing beaches bathsheba is the most famous of the surfing beaches um, and it's a lovely destination to explore and relax. So who was this guy, Sam Lord? So Sam Lord was a, a vagabond and a pirate from the 1800s. He inherited the family estate, which includes a castle called Sam Lord's Castle. Um, and he, he set about trying to plunder the ships that were arriving in Bridgetown Harbour. So he used to get his merry men to hang lanterns out in the, the trees that sit down on the beach area. And that used to confuse the, the captains and the, the shipmen coming into the harbor. And they used to turn towards the coastline at Sam Lord's, thinking it was Bridgetown Harbor, run aground on the coral reefs and then break apart. So what Sam Lord's used to do was send out his merry men in boats to then plunder these ships and take the plunder for himself. That's how he became a very wealthy young man. Anyway, that's all changed. Um, this property is brand new. This is the lobby breezeway that you can see on the screen. So this is what your guest, guest experience when they arrive at the property. So it's a very wow experience. You enter this tall atrium lobby and walk towards the end of the lobby. And then you've got a guest check-in on the right, which is for individual guests. And on the left is for groups. Get to the end of the of the lobby on the balcony, and this is the view that waits for you, overlooking the main central swimming pool and out to the ocean. So it has a really good wow experience for, for arrival at the property. As I said, we are five-star luxury with 422 rooms, of which there are 37 suites. So the style of accommodation is modern. Remember, this is purpose-built. It only opened in October last year. So this property is modern, sleek, contemporary rooms. Um, the, the, every room has a balcony. And the nice thing about this property is every room is built facing the ocean. Now, we have some views that are affected. They don't have a direct full-on ocean view. Uh, but there's a high percentage of rooms at this property with full ocean views. Every room... 
Every deluxe room has one balcony and all the suites have two separate spacious balconies. So this is the intro room. This is our deluxe resort view room. So this in effect is our standard room. We don't call anything standard in this property. So every room is spacious. So the minimum size of the rooms is 650 square foot. So they're very spacious. Everyone has a, either a king bed. So this is a deluxe resort view room with king bed. We also have a deluxe ocean view, a deluxe resort view room with two separate queen beds. Now, great for families. So this is our double-double or queen-queen. Um, the deluxe ocean view room and the deluxe resort view rooms are the same size. It's just the view that affects what what the, um, the, the room category is. We control the room inventory by category, which is the deluxe category. We control it by view, which is either resort view or ocean view. And we also can, can, uh, um, configure the, the room inventory by bedding configuration. So in your systems, or you will be able to see through a booking channel, whichever booking channel you use or tour operator, you will be able to see deluxe ocean view rooms with two queen beds. You can book that room type and guarantee that that room type will be delivered to your customer. So there's real time live in, in inventory and availability in room type view and bedding configuration. We also have 37 lovely suites, as I mentioned. So each of the suites has two separate balconies, one off the bedroom area, one off the living room area. So this is a terrace suite in king bed configuration, straight out of the, of the bedroom area, straight out onto your balcony, um, gorgeous views out over the ocean. Um, all the suites are full ocean view, um, and they're all configured in king size beds. Um, this is a living room of a terrace suite. So you see you have a large marble dining room, dining table. You have a wet bar area and you also have then the separate bedroom area. So these are the terrace suites. Um, every room and suite at the property has a, a, a fully stocked minibar. And the minibars are replenished daily and they're stocked with soft drinks, waters and beers as well. Then we have the lovely Zephyr suites. These are a higher category suites. So in total, we have four different types of category. We have a presidential suite, which is the only two bedroom suite on the property. So all the suites are one bedroom. And also from a, a, a bedding configuration for families, remember this property is a family friendly property. So children of all ages are welcome, um, but it's not family only. It is open to guests of all ages, basically. So this property um, has a, a good number of interconnecting deluxe rooms. If you have interconnecting pairs, the deluxe king room will always con connect into a deluxe room with two queen beds. So by booking the two rooms together, king plus two queens, you can get accommodation uh, for a family of two adults and up to four children, for example, by um, interconnecting. We can't guarantee it, but you do have to book separate rooms and then put a request in the booking that they need to be requesting interconnecting rooms. Hope that's clear. Um, so you can see the rooms are very spacious, modern, light and airy, very modern configuration, granite countertops in the bathroom areas. So very spacious and lovely modern rooms. So we are a premium all inclusive resort. So this property offers all meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner from a choice of, of restaurants, fully stock mini bar, which is replenished daily, 24 hour room service, seven days a week, international brand name spirits, cocktails and beers from all bars. Um, so premium brand drinks are available. So for example, the standard um, vodka there is absolute vodka. If you want Chiroc or Velvedere or Grey Goose, there are small supplement charges payable for the premium top shelf brands payable locally. One bit of glass with all meals and from all bars and lots of activities at the property as well. So a really good all-inclusive program. So at the moment, we are in a soft opening phase of the property. We're gradually opening more and more restaurants until we get up to the full quarter. At the moment, we have this selection of restaurants, food and beverage offering available. The Mediterranean Market is our all-day dining main buffet restaurant with different cooking stations from different parts of the Mediterranean. So maybe French, Italian, Greek, you'll have North African, Moroccan, for example. So you'll have a real varied cuisine from across the Mediterranean. The Castle View restaurant is our signature fine dining steak and seafood restaurant at the property. Um, no supplements are payable at any of these properties, at the, any of these restaurants. 
Grand Cask is our um, adults only rum bar, which also serves canapes and snacks as well. And the Lantern Pool Bar pays homage to uh, Sam Lords and his merry men who used to hang the lanterns from the trees to decoy those ships arriving at Bridgetown Harbour. Um, we also have the Sam Lords Grill, um, which is a casual eatery, um, snacks, fast food, etc. So lots of restaurants and lots of activities on, on leisure as well. So this is a different view of the property, looking down on the beach. So in total, we have six swimming pools, five in the main part of the resort and one which is reserved in the spa area by itself. In this picture, you can see the castle, Sam Lord's Castle there, and you can see the resort looking down over its stretch of beach. Now, the beach is, is swimmable at, at, in good tide conditions, but remember this is the southeast corner of the island, and this is facing towards the Atlantic. So water sports are not available from the beach, um, but it's a great beach to relax and enjoy with sun lounges um, down on the beach, and there's a beach and pool concierge service as well. We also have tennis courts, pickleball courts, um, gymnasium fitness centre. So the gym opens up in the middle of next month, which is mid-March. Um, and then also we have a very good children's entertainment programme. We have a children's entertainment programme for kid, kids of all ages. Um, and it makes the property very good for families of all ages, with children of all ages. Um, activities, daytime activities, nighttime activities, kids entertainment shows, talent shows, um, arts and crafts. Also, we have babysitting services available, but that is at an additional charge. Access to the kids club is complimentary, but the children's uh, babysitting service is at an additional charge. This lovely guy on the right there is Sammy. He's the parrot and he's the mascot of the children's entertainment program. Now for adult guests, in mid-April we'll have a brand new spa opening at the property. Now the spa treatments are at additional charge, but within the spa there'll be seven treatment rooms. So this is gonna be very much a wellness spa resort. Um, lots of, of um, treatments for body, mind and soul. And within the spa, there will be one dedicated pool just for spa guests as well. There'll be a complete salon with hairdressing um, and treatments, etc. So lots to, 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 to pamper yourself with while on holiday for adult guests. Now, Barbados and I know the whole Caribbean is a very popular wedding destination. We will have some great wedding packages for, for parties of all sizes, from small intimate, small family weddings of just a couple or small family members, up the way to grand, bank lavish banquets, basically, for guests um, of all ages. Um, and, you know, we have a wedding team there that will deliver an exceptional wedding experience to guests at the property. Now, we do have a very large ballroom and it's part of the event space that we have at the property. So the ballroom has capacity of up to 800 people in theater style, 600 classroom style, and for banquets, about 700 people in round tables. So there's uh, separate meeting rooms, but the event space is great. And even in front of the castle, which you can see there in the main picture, that's an event space great for private dining, banquets and wedding receptions as well. In addition to a wonderful wedding venue with the backdrop of the castle. So this is a, a layout of the property. It's built in five separate blocks. So numbered one, two, three, four and five. Um, they're, they're basically influenced by the, the um, elements. Um, the central swimming pool is number 18 and 15 there. You've got an infinity swimming pool looking out over the beach. And you can see the location of the other facilities. So the reception and port cochere is number three on that plan. And you can see where the castle is then to the south left corner of the map. Tennis courts uh, and pickleball courts are there as well. So great a uh, resort well laid out. And the nice thing is that every room at this property faces towards the ocean. Now I'm gonna play a quick video um, and I'll hopefully it'll come alive and you'll be able to see it.
So that's Wyndham Grand Barbados, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. So I've been Peter. Um, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for listening today. I hope that's uh, brought everybody up to date with this wonderful new property on the island of Barbados. Um, there'll be a competition prize later, so pay, att uh, pay attention. And also, um, I'll be sharing a link to um, information uh, to download fact sheets and images, etc. So thank you for your time. Take care. Peter, thank you. That was amazing. You really brought the wow factor to the screen. Uh, we're so grateful for that. Absolutely amazing. You're and welcome. also thank all the historical stuff. How fantastic. Thank you. Um, so we'll go on now to Lucy, who is representing Playa Resort. Uh, Lucy, would you like to begin? Thank you, Ian. Hi, everyone. So I will just share my screen. Can you see my screen there? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Page, Lucy. Oh, okay. No problem. Perfect. Okay. Hi, everyone. So I'm here representing Playa Hotel and Resorts today. So I will be taking you down to Jamaica. We are going over to Jewel Grand, which is one of our ultra luxury products. <laughs> So under our umbrella, Playa actually have different brands. So we have our Hyatt and Zalara brand. We have Hilton All Inclusive. We have our Wyndham Ultra brand, Jewel Resorts, Sanctuary Capcana, and then the Tapestry Collection. So in Jamaica specifically, we have the Hyatt Ziva and Zalara Rose Hall. We have the Hilton Rose Hall. We have the Jewel Grand, and we have Jewel Paradise Cove. Um, so today's webinar will focus specifically on Jewel Paradise Cove. Um, so before we go into the hotel, why Playa? Um, so we pride ourselves on our amazing extra, extra luxury brands. So we have unlimited gourmet dining and why guests choose to dine with us is they can eat and drink as many times as they want at any of our hotel, we have flexible dining across multiple restaurants and bars and guests are able to dine as they please. So we've physically had guests that will have their starters in one restaurant, main in another and their dessert in any restaurant they require. We also have 24 hour room service at our resorts. We have unlimited non-motorized water sports included in our packages and we have um, options for family guests also. So we have kids clubs available from ages four to 12 and team zone for ages 13 to 17. So focusing specifically on our Jewel Grand product in Jamaica, this is the one hotel we have under the Jewel Grand brand. It's located in Montego Bay. Um, so it's just 15 minutes away from the airport. So this is Jewel Grand over here and you can see some of our other um, Jamaica properties. Um, so it's just a 15 minute transfer directly from the airport to Jewel Grand. And this just shows you um, the distances on the map to our resorts, so very local. So as I said, Jewel Grand is your ultra luxury five star experience for all ages. This product is perfect for families, it's perfect for couples, honeymooners um, with a large budget who would like that ultra luxury experience the hotel is located in the heart of the caribbean all our accommodation options are all suites and villas and we can also include a butler we have three bedroom villas um, available at the resort so this is ideal for families because they don't need to worry about you know booking separate rooms or having to pay extra for interconnecting rooms they will all be together on resort in a villa So I'm just going to play a brief video, which will just take you to explore our resort.
So that was just a short taste of Jewel Grand. So what to expect when you're staying at this resort? It's an elevated luxury experience with world-class service. We have premium amenities across all room categories at this resort. Amazing views all round. The hotel sits in the heart of Montego Bay and it's perched on white sands overlooking the Caribbean Sea. We have eight restaurants and lounges around the resort, free Wi-Fi located everywhere, and we have nicely entertainment where guests will be able to see different activity or entertainment options available throughout the resort and also on screens throughout the property. It's one of the smaller hotels in the destination as we have only 217 suites on this hotel. All ages and all inclusive. So we have two outdoor swimming pools, which are pictured here. We have beach and poolside concierge included for all guests in all room categories, which is part of the all inclusive package. We have a spa and fitness center on the resort, dedicated kids club, um, so the kids club is from ages four to 12 and the teen zone is from ages 13 to 17. So the two images um, in the bottom center and bottom right show you our kids club. And we also have eight restaurants as mentioned on the resort. So this is just a look um, at some of the restaurant options at, on the property. So both um, of our pools overlook the Caribbean Sea. Our cuisine options on property are Jamaican, Italian, Asian, and international, to name a few. We have a lot of options for only 217 rooms, which is great for guests, as for a guest that is typically booking a seven-night deck stay, they're able to dine at a different restaurant each night. We also have our famous coffee and juice bar, which is this image in the bottom left. This is famous for a world-renowned coffee and ice cream. And then we have our swim up bar, which is in the top right corner. Um, and this is the rum runner bar, very popular amongst guests. There is also a separate bar dedicated for children only within the um, kids clubs and teen zones. So it's very popular amongst families. What makes this resort exclusive within the destination? Our spa is a two-story spa. Guests can have treatments by the water, as pictured um, in the bottom left corner. And we have many premium products available to purchase in the spa, as well as premium treatments available to book throughout their stay or before their stay via the hotel concierge. So we're just going to go a bit deeper into the room categories. So our leading room category is the ocean suite. So the occupancy can fit up to four guests, and this can be either king bed options or double bed options. It includes a large sitting area, amazing views from the ocean front room category, the mini fridge is stocked daily with beer, soda and water, luxury bath products and lux luxury bedding. The next category up is our Oceanfront Premium Junior Suite. So the difference between this room category and the previous room category is that this sits on a higher floor. So better oceanfront view for, for guests but it's the same bedding and same occupancy. So this would be one that you would book for guests that are all about amazing views. Then we have our one bedroom ocean view romance suite. So this suite is very popular amongst couples. It's king bed options only and can fit only two adult occupancy. It's a traditional Caribbean decor and the guests have partial ocean view. Even though it is an all-inclusive property, there is a fully equipped kitchen within the romance suite. We have our one bedroom resort view. So again, this is a king bed that can fit up to three guests, traditional decor. 
So this one is perfect for, I would say, small families um, with young children, as they have the facility to use the washer and dryer to get their any washing done before they return home. And then we also have the fully equipped kitchen. Our one bedroom oceanfront suite. Um, so this is up to three guests in King Room. It has a separate living room area and sofa bed and is that same elegant traditional Caribbean decor throughout this room with amazing views of the Caribbean Sea. Going up one to our one bedroom Grand Lux Ocean front suite. So you will see from the images that this is a more elegant modern decor design. It is up to three guests in this room, king bed in configuration and has a fully equipped kitchen as you can see in the bottom image. Moving on to our two bedroom butler suites. So these suites have a king and, queen, king and queen bed options and can fit up to five guests. So this is really perfect for families. We can book either resort or ocean view options in this room and the butler service is included. So guests will meet with their butler at check-in and the butler will be with them throughout their stay. Washer and dryer is included and they have a separate living area with the sofa bed. So ideally for families. Our three bedroom ocean butler suites can fit up to seven guests within this room. So the bedding will be one king and two queens. This has the traditional Caribbean decor feel, amazing views of the Caribbean sea, separate living room and sofa bed, and includes the butler service as well as the washer, dryer and fully equipped kitchen. With our three bedroom garden view butler suite, again fitting up to seven guests. This room has three floors. So we have the ground floor where they will have their fully equipped kitchen, bath, sofa bed and parlour. Then on the second floor, there are two queen sized rooms and on the third floor, they have the master suite. So it's really that home away from home. Then we have our ocean front butler suite. So this is a standalone villa, can fit up to seven guests, elegant traditional Caribbean decor throughout all of our butler suite villas. Again, three story floors, ground floor, a similar um, setup to the previous room. There's also a hot tub, which you can see in the top right corner image in the oceanfront butler suites and amazing views on every story of the villa. Then we have our three bedroom penthouse butler suite. So this is our more elegant modern decor feel for this villa. Fits up to seven guests, bedding configuration between king and two queens. Panoramic views of the Caribbean seas from the bedroom and from the balcony. Separate living area. There's a fully equipped kitchen and of course includes the butler service. We have our three bedroom Grand Lux penthouse suite. Similar to um, the previous room, fit seven guests, king and queen bed configurations, amazing views of the sea and private wraparound balcony. So this is amazing views wherever you are within this villa. Finally, we have our Playa Rewards program, which I'm sure you are all aware of. And for any of our agents that are joining us from the US, that is the Agent Pl Cash Plus Rewards program for you. So amazing for you to um, have access to all of our tools and information and also for you to log any of your bookings. So it's a one-stop shop. You can access our pre-recorded webinars and online training course, as well as our media library. And it's important to mention, we do have a competition running at the moment and it's within the final week. So for any bookings you log on Playa Rewards, you are in with a chance for the UK agents to win a space on one of our upcoming fam trips. So for anyone that logs a book into Jamaica, you can actually win a space to come and see Jewel Grand that we've spoken about today. 
This is the details for Jade, our UK BDM, who I'm filling in for. So if you do have any questions or would like any follow up, please do get in contact with Jade after the webinar. And that's it from me. Thank you. So, Lucy, thank you so much for doing all that. Uh, thank you in particular for the eloquent explanation, all the details. <laughs> um, I'm sure all the agents we can't wait to book. Let's certainly hope so. Um, and that was really marvellous. So let's go to the final part. And now we're going to have some prizes. But the first thing all the agents need to do is go to the chat. Um, and we're going to go to Peter with his question. And really, it's a case of everyone who's on the webinar gets one point. But anyone, you're going to a spin wheel tonight. And the winner will be announced tomorrow by email. So it's who's got the fastest finger and who was the most attentive. So Peter, may I let you ask your question, please? Thank you very much, Ian. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed my presentation or paying attention. So I apologize that I spelled the link in the, uh, the chat incorrectly. So I've now corrected that. Um, so we have a number of restaurants at the property. Can you name the fine dining steak and seafood restaurant at Wyndham Grand Barbados? Well done, Tracy. That's correct. All flooding in now. Well done, everybody. Good to see people are paying attention. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Right. So the lucky winner, as I say, will be announced by email. Um, May I go to you, Victoria, and can you put your question, please, to the agent? Yeah, OK. Hi, everybody. Um, so I had three properties that I presented on today um, in different locations in Provincialis. And my question is, which of the three properties is situated in Long Bay, on Long Bay Beach? Oh, yes. Straight. Nicholas was straight there. Um, that's really good. Everybody's right. That's fabulous. Okay, yeah. Right, okay, that's great, thank you. So I think Victoria's got that one. And um, can we now go to Lucy? And Lucy, could you kindly put your question to our agents? Thank you. Yeah. So my question is, for our three-bedroom villas, what is the occupancy for those rooms? Oh, Sarah was right. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yep, yeah, seven guess is the correct answer. Seems like everybody's been listening today. Yeah, yeah. everyone, good it stuff. It looks like thank it, you. doesn't it? And so thank you really to all the agents for being so attentive. And I'm sure you enjoyed our wonderful presenters, Peter, Victoria, and Lucy. That's absolutely marvelous. Just one last, very last point. Are all your questions answered? There's some in there's three questions in the chat. One I know Victoria's answered. There's another one I see here from Dala. Are there any beach chairs? I didn't see any on the picture. Who was that for? Sorry, that question. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. It doesn't say here who it's for. I mean, to answer for Playa, there are beach chairs available. Okay. On the beach. Yeah. We have beach chairs at all of um beach cabanas, beach chairs, sun loungers at all of the three properties. I think that might have been aimed at me. Um, the aerial picture that was taken didn't have any uh, beach furniture. Yes, we have um, lounges and beach chairs down on the beach with shade as well. So uh, the image that I shared with you was taken before they, those were placed on the beach. So I hope that clears everything up, Dala. Um, 
I see that somebody's put in the chat, Peter, do you limit weddings to one per day? Yes, we do. It's not a wedding factory, don't worry. Um, we do limit weddings and we give the guests the wedding party. We aim to give a, a, an outstanding experience and we do limit weddings to one per day. Right. I had actually right. mistakenly ticked off one of the questions, which was, can we log our day pass bookings as well as overnight stay? Um, so in order to um, get your rewards via player rewards, it's for overnight stay bookings only. Right. And I see there's one question in there from Linda. Uh, it's asking if links for these presentations. Yes, it'll be sent to your email. Um, that you should get tomorrow. Um, and I don't know if anyone wants to enlarge upon that. Yeah, well, we'll send links for images and content afterwards, and you can use any of the content and images um, on our website. So if you'd like to just copy and paste anything that our content writer has written, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, and it's also available on the platform also. So any images, fact sheets, everything is available via powerawards.com. So I shared a link earlier um, to... A, a link tree page um, that gives access to website images and a downloadable fact sheet as well. Wendy, I see that you would want Im images, uh, information about um, weddings. If you have a look at the uh, the website, windhamgrandbarbados.com, um, then you will be able to see the wedding. There's a specifically wedding and celebration page on that website, which you navigate to uh, off the, the link that I've sent to today in the chat. Thanks, Wendy. Okay, so it looks like we can draw to a close and uh, get on with our work and have those wonderful images staying us with us for the rest of the evening. So thanks to everyone. Please enjoy the evening. Okay. Thank Lovely. you very much. Thank, Bye -bye, you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Lovely to Bye. see you again. Bye. Take Good care. Day. Bye. Bye. Everyone.